Hello, 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 everyone. Happy Saturday morning. I hope you all are having an amazing day. I am super, super excited to be here with you guys. If you're brand new to the Makers Gonna Learn YouTube channel, I'm Tanner Bell, your crafty best friend, and I'm so excited to be here because we're talking what crafts to sell for DIY projects people actually want to buy. So for projects people actually wanna buy, we're going to talk about pricing these, we're gonna talk about building out what you could do with these items. If you're interested in selling with your docketing machine, today's live stream is for you. If you're brand new here, I want you to go ahead and share with me in the comments where you're visiting from. Let me know what you've got going on in your neck of the woods. We are so, so excited to see you guys over here at the YouTube channel. So as you guys are tuning in, it's a great Saturday morning here in the crafty world. So share with us where you're visiting from. We are right here in a promo time where we have the brand new Design Make Sell. So today I've extended it because of this live stream. If you want printed and shipped workbooks, we are including today's people as well. If you want a printed and shipped workbook for the new version of Design Make Sell, join today because we're super excited so as you guys are tuning in share with us what you've got going on good morning esmeralda good morning richard um bentley uh, liz martha hello 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 i'm tanner bell the founder here at makers gonna learn your digital die cutting uh membership that teaches you how to master die cutting as well as a sublimation sewing we have a lot of different courses coming so it's going to be really really good but again today we are talking those four projects people actually want to buy because i think if you know that people are actually interested in buying that that will motivate you to actually start putting yourself out there like our goal here at makers gonna learn is to help get you putting yourself out there whether it's a mastering that die cutting machine or b maybe you are ready to start selling right maybe you're ready to start selling hey Brittany. hey carmen nerdy uh hello laura uh deborah pamela hello 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 good saturday morning friends this is gonna be a great time to hang out and chat rebecca shirley how are you guys doing guys on the table we have four very different diy projects that people are actually buying today. Now, I'm going to talk about the demographics. I'm going to talk about price points. We're going to talk all the things, and today is a great time to get your questions answered. So again, if you are looking to enroll in Design Make Sell, it is linked down below for you guys. So if you need it, go ahead and grab that. We would love to help you and make sure that you are able to um, you know, get enrolled in that if you need to. So that is an amazing opportunity for all of you, my friends. It's going to be a lot of fun here on the channel this morning. Um, and it's awesome. So, hey, Vicki, hope you guys are doing great. So let's go ahead and we're going to share a lot about what you can do, what crafts you can make. It's gonna be a lot of fun. So I'm super, super excited. Can you sell items with Starbucks logo? So Liz, these are cups that people customize um, that are Starbucks cups. So as far as I know, yes, you are able to sell these because you bought these. If you um, did not already buy it, um, you know, Starbucks kinda, you, you buy this. So you're not trying to sell like a fake, you're not selling a fake Starbucks cup, you are selling um, like an actual Starbucks cup. Now I do wanna say, that's a great question, we're actually gonna start with the cups. So these cups are epoxy cups. So what we did was we were able to take vinyl, put it on there, and then with the UV resin, which you've seen Becca talk about a lot, um, you start seeing that thin coats of that is going to be the best sealer um, that are, is amazing. So some of the best sealer ever because it's epoxy. So if you're ever worried about selling a vinyl project that you are worried that it's not going to last a lifetime, um, you definitely want to think about doing epoxy over top your vinyl. And as you can see, three different ones. These cut files are from Makers Gonna Learn as well. So if you're looking to become a member, great time to get a membership. We love that. Um, and what we love about this as well is you again have the cup. So we had the question, you know, do we actually have to, um, you know, can we resell Starbucks cup logos? 
Yes, because you are paying full price for the Starbucks cup. Now, if you're buying like knockoff ones, that would be an issue. I do want to say there are brands that do not have that do not have Starbucks logo on them. You can get them on Amazon um, and a lot of other places. So definitely check that out as well. It is a lot, a lot of fun as well. So definitely um, consider the Starbucks cup. Now you may be saying, Tanner, how do you know people are ready to buy these? How do you know people are buying them? It's because people are buying them. Like if you look across the web, do some market research, you can tell that these are going and selling for a great, great price. So when you're building your price you want to make sure you are covering all your material and your time so make sure to add up how much it costs if this costs eight dollars to manufacture whether it's your resin your vinyl and your cup you want to say this is eight dollars for one cup as material then you need to add in how long it takes you to make it so say you're wanting to make um, twenty dollars an hour and with this all in you are a half hour in this would be you know possibly up to a 24 dollar cup because it's more resin now it shouldn't take you that long to do that and especially if you're selling these in a set that would be very handy for you as well so you can look around at what you want to sell it for but it is definitely going to depend on where you buy your cup how much you're paying for the cup and your all-in crafting time per item, um, I do want to recommend selling as sets. So we can get that, you know, going from a $10 product to say a $24 package where you get a whole set, you know, that would be really helpful for us here. So we love that. Hey from Houston. Hey Shirley. Hey from Alabama. Um, and again, we want to make sure you're getting what your hourly rate request could be. So if you want to make $20 an hour, something takes you a half hour to make, that's $10 plus your material. Um, that could be $18 if it costs $8 for the cup. If, say, you can make the cup for $5, then the cup price can go down to $15. I want to make sure that each and every one of you here are able to make a profit. Because here's the deal, my friend. If you are not making a profit, you are not going to have a business. You're going to have a hobby where it practically should become a nonprofit at that point, right? Like we want to make sure that you are able to make money. Hey, Terry. Hey, Ann. Hey, hello. Hello, Roberta. Nicole. Hello, Leah. Oregon in the house. Hey, Annie. Oh, mm. Lots and lots of fun. We are super, super excited for all of you to be here. Um, and we're just talking about our number one product right here, which is the Starbucks cups. And guys, I want to let you all know, almost anyone I know selling these, they're flying off. They cannot get stock. They are trying to get any cups they can. Um, so if you can find Starbucks cups, people are paying more for the Starbucks cups, but I would make sure it's just a great quality cup. Other off-brand ones will be able to provide you great benefit so that's fantastic uh, how are the kids guys the kids are like why are you working so much I've been doing a lot of live streams lately so this morning other evenings and things like that so they're doing great though we're super happy um, with all of them so yay been a member since 2018 Woohoo! Woo I love it Tom is money yes working on a design for a fire truck cake topper love that Shirley go you Tanner can you explain to our friends how to find current price comparisons on Etsy that is a great question. So let's go ahead. I'm going to share my screen um, over here. So let me just go ahead and go to camera four. Here is camera four. Here we go. So this is our join page. If you need to become a member, leave me a comment. We'll get you a link. Um, enrollment for Design Make Sell is right here. Click the link down below. Yes, I'm ready. Guys, you can jump into our professional tier uh, program where you're gonna learn how to design and sell. Um, you can get started today for as low as $115 when you use that coupon code um, DMS at checkout. So that's super awesome. But yes, let's talk Etsy. Let's talk comparisons. Let's go over here um, and take a look at some other Starbucks cups. So if we wanted to talk, just search star, if I can top Starbucks cup, personalized. Ooh, I love personalized items. So see, state, uh, we've got the first one, color changing Starbucks cup, $18. We've got another one right here that's only $10. We have someone over here only charging $8. But let's see, let's see, I have a hypothesis about this one. So it's $8. This is right here, $8 from three Crafty Girl Designs. Let's say we want 
a cold cup. So you notice the hot cup is cheaper, but the picture is only of the cold cup because no one's really buying. Like if you're trying to pick between the cold cup or hot cup, I've not seen many people buying the hot cups. Everyone wants the cold cup. So the cold cup already goes up to 960. See how she looped them in by saying it's the cheapest, right? She already went from eight to 960, so that's a dollar 60 up charge. But let's see, is she allowing free shipping? Let's let's see. Um, arrives right here if you order today and enjoy free shipping. So let's see if there's any other any other charges here. Let's add it to our cart. Add it to our cart. Um, and you know it apparently is normally twelve dollars so if you go to the cart we can double check and see at the end of the day um it's so it's letting us know shipping is actually not free shipping um this is eight dollars in shipping so you can see here that this seller has went from you know being able to charge nine uh, eight dollars to nine sixty and now we're all the way up to uh, $17. So that's one way you can go about it when you're listing your items, um, you know, that the shipping is actually not free. So for you to reach free shipping at her store, again, it's $35, which I misread, so I apologize for that. Um, so yes, so this cup is actually uh, shipped to you at the end of the day, $17. Let's get real, to ship this cup is probably like three or four dollars. Um, so that's just one thing I wanted to show you that different things like this can attract different people. Now the person that is looking for the cheapest price may not be the best person. So let's say this one right here is $18. Let's see if there's additional fees here. So we're gonna select our option. I want the do you love, I want red. I'm just gonna put my name on here, Tanner, Tanner. And then let's add that to my cart. So we've added that, let's go to cart. And you can see right here, let me take the other one out. So we're gonna remove this from our cart, remove. So again, there's still $5 shipping. So the shipping is significantly cheaper, but it goes from $18 to 22. So again, that's really neat. And she lets you choose which one if you need it sooner. I personalized it, things like that. So this is for a personalized cup you actually are able to do so. So that's just a little bit of how I like to do price comparison. That's a great question, Aaliyah. Thank you so much for um, commenting that. I love, love, love when you guys get to kind of see a breakdown of like, wait, how would a consumer work? Like that's how you do it. Like when you're looking at the price comparisons, there's not just a one price listed. You have to go all the way to the checkout to see what fees can they add in, what um, cold cut versus hot cup, like, different things like that on Etsy you can strategize and for, um, figure out. So that's really interesting. I love it, love it, love it. Costs about $6 to ship a ceramic mug. Um, depending on where you use it, I I wish shipping a ceramic mug in Design Make Sell, but you might be right. Um, so yeah, shipping is very expensive. How simple is it to sell my crafts on Etsy or Facebook Market, Charlotte? If you're looking to sell on Facebook, if you are in Design Make Sell, we have some really great prompts to get you going fast. So it could be as simple as making three cups, posting a picture, who wants one, right? Like you can break it down that simple between your personal page and your marketplace and see if there's people there. Because when you're selling, we need to verify that people wanna buy from you so that you have the self-esteem to build your shop. That's what we're all about here. So Starbucks cups right now is something we are seeing super hot, super, super hot. I love this. Now, the next thing I want to share with you guys is the doormats. The doormats are something that I feel like you could become a tried and true uh, creator for doormats. I actually taught this for a YouTube video. I love this doormat right here. Um, it's a very different material. Um, it looks a little bit different. Um, I don't know if you all can tell on camera. It's very nice. I like it a lot. It's not the typical doormat. I will let you know that. Um, but it fit on the table really well for our video. So that's what we we're all about. Now let's talk about why the doormat is very nice. People will invest in the doormat. Um, now I will say there can be a wide variety of doormats. I would not pay when we're talking about a, a, a blank. I would not pay more than $8 for a, a doormat blank. Um, so that's just like without anything on it. The rest of the time is going to be invested into your crafting. Doormats take a while. 
I'm not going to be the first one to tell you, but let me tell you, I have the best time with doormats. Um, I love making doormats. I don't know why I love making doormats. I want to let you all know that. I, I don't know why, but let's talk about why these can be popular and what really makes doormats popular. Because you might be saying, Tanner, I don't even have a doormat. Let's talk about it. You may not have a doormat, my friends, but let's think about all the people that need doormats. Now, I'm the first person to go out when fall is happening and get a new doormat. So that's a customer that can come back to you like three or four times a year. They could have a flagship family doormat for the summer. They could have a, a fall doormat and a winter doormat and maybe a spring doormat. Um, there's a lot of opportunity here to get repeat business. Um, this will also allow you to go up in product, like up in price. The material cost is very low. Freezer paper, your Cricut, your time. Those are things that are low cost after you have the doormat, right? So that's very nice where you're able to charge $25 to $30 for a personalized doormat, which is fantastic, fantastic, fantastic. We want to see those orders prices go up into that $25, $30 mark because they're so handy, right? This is really nice because you're getting custom. You can send them the mock-up, okay? You can send them the mock-up of your design in Cricut Design Space. Using Makers Gonna Learn fonts, you can put this right here in Design Space. Use Pinterest as your inspiration to build the doormat. We have multiple trainings on doormats here at Makers Gonna Learn in your membership and in the YouTube channel. So go find them, watch them, love them. We have a hoot and a half doing one color, two colors, three colors. There's a lot of opportunity here to learn how to make some really great doormats. Um, when you become a member with the fonts, with the cut balls, everything. But again, let's talk more about the clientele. The customer can come back two or three times a year for doormats. They're a high enough price point, which are really handy. They're really great for locals because you're not having to ship. You can have pickups and things like that. So there's no additional fee there. Um, but I also want to talk to you about partnerships with realtors. Partnership with realtors is kind of the secret here. If you can connect with two or three realtors that say, hey, you've got someone closing on a house. I am going to be your person to help make you have the best housewarming gift. That is a great relationship. That is an amazing, outstanding relationship right there where you have consistency, right? Consistency in orders. If you know the realtor selling four houses a month, at least four orders right there, great partnership. They text you and say, hey, here's the family. Like, let's get a doormat then the realtor is able to provide the doormat and a gift card to their clients. Win, 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 win right there. Consistent customers is what we're able to build when we are there. Now I wanna let you all know again, we had a friend and I cannot remember the name right now. It was someone who watches the lives all the time, one of our favorites. They said, think about what you would wanna make a hundred of. Would you want to be able to make 100 doormats? Think about that. Because at the end of the day, you might end up making 100 of something you're selling. So think about that. I love that. Um, yes, I, I love sharing a little bit more than just sell this. Like, sell this. Let's talk about why I think you should sell this. Let's talk about why you could actually build a business um, from that. And it's so much fun. Can I make doormats for craft fair? What style? Craft, okay. So craft fairs have a very particular type of projects that you need to do, okay? You need to do lower price points so you have easy, easier yeses. Doormats are not something I would ever buy at a craft fair, I don't know, because I'm gonna have to carry it around for one, but for two, you're gonna spend probably an hour to an hour and 20, 30 minutes to make a doormat. If that does not sell, that's a little depressing. Um, so I really like custom order doormats. You can have a few designs and you can allow them to order, but I don't know if doormats, when we're talking craft fair, if that's exactly right. Um, if we're talking craft fair, y'all, these people buying up the bleach t-shirts, bleach t-shirts with the sublimation. This is like crack. Like I don't even want to like downplay this. This is like crack. I go into Walmart and I don't know where these people are getting them. I am here in East Tennessee. I have no idea who is supplying all of these bleach sublimation t-shirts. Do I think this trend is going to be around forever? No, but do I think it is hot right now? And if you are looking for a niche to master, this is something you can master today. 
get you some shirts, polyester, get you your bleach, wash it, ble bleach them, wash them, sub them, sublimate them, um, you're good. Like either way you want to go, you can sublimate then bleach. That's a whole other video. They're so trendy right now and people are paying 25 to $30 for this. And here's why. If you are thinking, Tanner, I love iron-on, but I don't know if it's going to last to sell, sublimation is for you. If you're considering getting into sublimation, this is for you. Now is your time. You're going to have an entry fee of probably five or $600 once you're in on your printer, your blanks, your ink, the press, things like that. After you've got that, sublimation is actually pretty affordable, like sustainably affordable, which I love. Um, but again that's incredible like the the cups have been around for over 12 months i love that um the doormats are always going to be popular but the sublimation bleach shirts right now are so specific i don't know how long that trend is going to be around but again i've been seeing them sold from anywhere from 20 to 30 dollars i've not seen one of these sold for like 15 dollars. i don't think like many almost anywhere um, how do you do them if you do not have sublimation paper? Um, there's a few other ways, but I have a really great, um, oh, Miss Debbie. Yes, Debbie said it make a hundred of them. Thank you. Um, and yes, I do have a video on how to make doormats. They're amazing. We love them. Um, outdoor ones are great. Um, and yes, so it is so, so good, but I love that. Um, and yes, Realtor is such a great idea. It is a great idea. Great, great idea. Um, bleach shirts, you know, you could partner with other businesses to give out its Christmas gifts if you wanted. Like, try to think of opportunities where you could maybe, instead of partnering direct to consumer, how could you go to a business and have a bulk order, right? Like, how could you do that? Like, think, think outside the box. Like, everyone's thinking, like, just one area. Like, think bigger. Think bigger, better, less, like, less one-on-one. -on -one um, customers, you're talking corporate, so you get one request, you get to fulfill it, that price will be a lot higher. And what I love about working with businesses is I think it really allows um, us as creatives to have more time creating, right? Like I think there's, I think there's opportunity there, which I love. Um, Chris says, yeah, I'm not going to invest 600 for a passing trend. So Chris, what I want to let you know is I think sublimation is going to be around like for a long time. That's not what I'm saying here. The bleach shirt, I don't know how long the bleach shirt's gonna be around, right? Sublimation's amazing. I have the mug press right here. It's a stand. Um, the mug press has helped me be able to make some really great mugs. Um, if you watch Craft Camp throughout the summer, you guys know I'm obsessed with the coasters. Sublimation is like legit, legit, legit. Um, but I just don't know personally how long people are gonna be wanting to wear bleach shirts. But I'm all, this is also coming from a guy who only wears black t-shirts. So do you trust me? I don't know. Like, right? I don't know how trustworthy a guy that only wears black t-shirts could be. Um, oh, my daughter works with a realtor and is doing great. I love that. I love seeing these people stand out and show out. And honestly, I've done so much training. I never really talk about like this philosophy. So I love that I'm able to just give it on this Saturday morning. Mm. I'm having trouble finding blank doormats that are affordable. Christina, if you have an um, Ikea, great hookup. If you are having trouble finding them, look in some unorthodox places. For example, I never thought to look for a doormat at Hobby Lobby. I don't know why. I thought that was a little odd, but they have blanks there. I never thought I could find a blank doormat at Target either until I started buying them there. And that's actually where I get the price point $8. Because I feel like if Target can sell theirs for $8, then everywhere else should be somewhere around that too. Like that's the most I'll personally pay for a doormat, um, especially if I'm selling it. So yay, I swear if I can make any money at it, mugs would be for sure my niche. Becky, I love that. Mug press, amazing. I do have to say, we're running the market at our, uh, um, we're running the merch at, let me show you, do, 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 do. We're doing the merch at our local church this weekend, which we're super excited about. I mean, Becca took some great pictures um, and we're loving it. So let me see if I can airdrop this over to my computer so you guys can see, see the photo. Let's see if it'll airdrop. Oh, did it work? 
did it work? You guys are gonna love this seeing me at the little market. We've been ringing people up for their shirt orders. It has been such great market research to see what people are buying and what they're not. So let me airdrop that and then we'll actually share with you the shirts and the merch that people are buying the most of because I think you guys will really love that as well. But I know we have some other items to go through. So anyway, before we jump into that, stay tuned for that. That'll be coming. Um, let's talk about some more. So the bleach t-shirt, amazing idea. Next up, this is number four. This is wood projects, custom wood projects, trendy wood projects. This is going to allow your creativity to go out a little bit more. I have a whole live stream on how you can make this um, using your jigsaw and using iron-on. This one was made with a Glowforge and iron-on. You can do it many different ways. There's a lot of different ways to make great projects with Cricut, with sublimation, with a Glowforge, with a laser cutter, things like that. Why I have this right here. These are low cost to manufacture. Paint, wood, your time. Paint, wood, your time. Like those are three things fairly low cost. You can make frames. I've been able to price out, you know, home decor for people's homes that you're able to make for like five or six dollars and then sell for like 30 to 40 dollars because that is just incredible margin, right? Like that's incredible margin. It takes about an hour, 30 minutes to make. Those are really fun to do, whether it's stenciling, whether it's iron on, whether it's vinyl. So many possibilities there, my friends. So think about how you can design, you know, three options for the fall and sell those. And then for the Christmas season, three options and sell those. Like you can do this in so many different ways. Like you could do cups, doormats, custom wood, sublimation. The possibilities truly, my friends, are endless. And if you're looking to get started selling online today, you need to join Design Make Sell. I want to make sure that you are getting Design Make Sell because I want to mail you the printed and shipped workbooks. We are sending you the design and the sell workbooks if you sign up today. Again, you can get started for pro, getting both for $115.50. It's incredible. We cannot wait for you to say yes and join over a thousand crafters in the Design Make Sell program. That is fantastic. Um, Christina says she found doormats for $5. I love that. Love it, love it, love it. So good. Can we talk about how the cutting board is unfindable? 2021 charcuterie board. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, if you, for some reason, people love the customized um, charcuteries and the cutting boards. Like, that's amazing. I saw a new version. I'm actually going to try to make it um, for a friend who just got married. Um, it is a magnetic a uh, wood block but you put your knobs on it and it has their name like engraved like burned so really cool really really neat um so that's another great way but again all of these are really great and will move fast for you if you're looking to sell now if you're sitting here and you're saying tanner i am not sure how to really sell i need to learn how to really get your formula for pricing i need to get your formula for selling. I need to know how to set up my shop. If you want to have over 53 trainings between designing and selling your projects, today's the day to say yes to Design Make Sell. And then look at this, y'all. Look at this. I'm super excited. You can see here, let me open this up and then share the screen. Look at this, y'all. This is me at Overflow Market. So this is our church conference. Um, I, Courtney and I have been selling a ton of merch. And what's interesting is the shirts. The shirts that are actually selling um that is amazing so it is all awesome um so yes this is a lot of fun we've sold a ton and then let me share you share with you what we actually sold so this is actually just a shout out also to becca per usual um because she took pictures of all the merch for the conference um this was kind of just a lot of fun. So we had a together. So the conference theme was together. So we had this right here made, and this has been a bestseller. So what I love about this is the simplicity of the design. You do not have to have something super, you know, crazy, you know, big and out there to be a bestseller. Together, 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 together. That's great. Um, and we love it. So this is a bestseller. This is $25 at the market. Next, we have a home group shirt. So this is a whole new thing our church is launching. Let me see if you can see the front of it. 
Um, I don't have the front of it, so this is just the back. Um, this is a baseball tee. People are not loving the Watt baseball tee with the dark sleeves. That's been an interesting discovery, but let me tell you what they are loving. People are loving the black t-shirt with white sleeves. Black t-shirt with white sleeves. And this is um, our verse right here, uh, Philippians 2.2, 2, um, which pretty much, you know, is, um, you know, just letting everyone pretty much stand together, which I absolutely love. The scripture right there, the whole story um, in Philippians Paul is like in a jail cell talking to the church of, you know, the church and like saying, you know, like, please stand together um, as he's in his jail cell, which is just, which is just unbelievable. Um, and I love, so that is also some of my favorites. Um, you know, it's been a lot of fun at the church conference, but it's looked very different. So anywho, uh, the First is, so I'm asking you, my friends, that you be joined together in perfect unity, one heart, one passion, united in one love. Walk together with one harmonious purpose and you will find heart uh, with unbound joy, which I love. So that's been a really great seller. Um, this is the kids version in a hoodie. Everyone wants a hoodie more than a sweatshirt. That's a great note. Um, and then we have the green shirt. So our style was earthy tones this year, um, and that's a lot of fun. Charlotte, you are able to sublimate on wood. I'm not so much sure how I would seal a cutting board, so you'd have to think on that. Um, so that's a lot of fun. So yay, congratulations, Christina, for signing up for Design Make Sell Pro. I love it, love it. I'm gonna drop the link if anyone needs to register. You can get in. And then we also have this in yellow. So this is the women's signature shirt. This is the men's signature shirt. They're both unisex, so great style shirts. These are next level shirts, super comfortable, super cozy, um, and really awesome. So yay, I just wanted to share that with you guys because I feel like you would enjoy it. And there, again, was me at the Overflow Market. So we had a lot of fun. We sold stickers, uh, necklaces, mugs, everything. So that's awesome. And then if you guys are ready to say yes to Design Make Sell, super easy. Go to the sign up page, come down here, you can start for the payment plan, do not forget, do not forget the coupon code DMS at checkout to save $50. So yay, love it, love it, love it. Use that coupon code DMS and press apply. All right, and then you'll be in. So that'll be awesome. So my friends, this is awesome. Love it, love it, love it. I hope you guys are really excited to start selling and having a lot of success. These are four projects you can get started this weekend selling. So we really hope that you do. Can you sublimate on doormats? Ooh, Christina. I've been researching that there are doormats you can and we are going to be filming them. So I'm going to be filming that very soon. So I'm really excited for that. Um, so stay tuned. Back to the doormats. What would you use? Acrylic paint or Flex Seal Spray? Tris, um, Flex Seal Spray, acrylic paint. I would use a multi-surface paint if you want. I've seen both. I've seen both. I use acrylic paint. I'm, I'm pretty, I'm pretty basic because, and let me explain why. Let me explain why. I'm in Tennessee. So again, that's my opinion. This is the research I've done, everything. Um, the acrylic paint hasn't caused me any issues for my door. So that's why I haven't went other places. I, if you do not know me, I usually follow the thing. If it's not broke, don't fix it. So if, if it's broke, let's fix it. But if it's not, you know, I don't see the reason to switch. So yay, Angela, if you're needing to join, go ahead and click the link. Uh, it's the first link down below. I just dropped it here in the comments as well. So yay, you won't regret it, Angela. Woohoo! I love it, love it, love it. Um, and yes, it'll be awesome. I'm in so good. If you guys need a membership, you might be like Tanner. I love Design Make Sell. I love everything you're doing, but I need a membership. Check out the links down below because you can get started today in our membership. Make all these projects, thousands of cut files, hundreds of fonts, and so much goodness that you are not going to want to miss out. So hopefully you enjoy all the goodness that we have in the membership. I cannot wait to see you all in the membership community for Design Make Sell or the membership. Um, so it's a lot of fun, but just to recap, guys, four awesome projects, get your design make sale if you're wanting a seat in the trainings. It's so good. It's lifetime access. So once you pay your full enrollment fee, there's no ongoing 
fee, which is great. Um, and then the membership, you get new cut falls every month and so much more. So there are additional fees there. But anyway, my friends, happy Saturday. I hope you have a fantastic day and we'll see you back here at the Makers Gonna Learn YouTube channel very, very soon. Are you spraying or brushing the doormats? Robin, watch one of my doormat videos. I use a stenciling brush, um, so that's fantastic. Yes, Christina, you're the best. Oh my goodness, thank you, my friends.